Hello everybody, and in this video we're going to be going over the Orthogonal Ratio Theorem. So this relates to the Semedians I talked about in the Special Points video on barycentric coordinates, and um, I briefly explained that uh, a Semedian is just the isogonal conjugate of a median, and all this word isogonal means it's the it relating to the in center or the angle bisector. So the isogonal conjugate of something is just the reflection over either an angle bisector or the in center. So um, the Semedians, Semedians are just a general case of this theorem where you have like you would say BE, like this would AD or something would be a median. Anyway, so we're going to prove this general theorem. So you have AD and AE are isogonal conjugate, and their and then their ratios BD BD over DC times BE over EC is equal to AB over BC squared. And in our terminology, this is uh, C squared over B squared. And all this proof really is, is just using the law of sines four times, and you have a bunch of equal angles that cancel out when you multiply stuff together. So first of all, since we have a reflection over the angle bisector, I didn't even try to sort of approximate the angle bisector, but um, we know that sort of the angle bisector is a line of symmetry so if I were to draw the angle bisector of angle A, really of angle BAC, it would also be the angle bisector of angle DAE. This is a D, sorry, it looks like an O. And so that means that, that also means that these two angles are equal. Um, since we have equal angles on each side of the angle bisector here, we'll also have in equal angles here on each side. So, so yeah, so it's just the law of sines four times, and the law of sines is just um, a small little theorem on ratios of lengths compared to ratios of sines of corresponding angles. It's basically like, right, I mean, I'll explain it once and then just write out the rest of these um, things. So first we look at triangle ABD. And we have that BD divided by the sine of BAD. So this length divided by the sine of the angle across it equals, um, I'm just going to put C. So this length divided by the sine of the angle across it. probably going to be where my handwriting is the worst. So that's all it is. It's just like side, sine, side, sine, and you just have corresponding angles. Um, and so we can write four more of these. So we have BE. If we look at triangle ABE, we have that BE divided by sine um, of BAE is equal to uh, C divided by and we have um, angle sine B E A. Okay, and then so here's we'll we'll get our C squared. See how we have B D B E C squared, B D B E C squared. Yeah. Um, and then we have E C. So now we're looking at this triangle, A E C. 
EC divided by the sine of CEA is equal to B divided by the sine and I'm so sorry I'm, I'm really tired right now um, this is CAE and this is sine CEA alright and then last is DC DC over sine CAD is equal to B over um, sine CDA so since we know that um, these two angles are congruent that's BAD and CAE we also know that angles CAD and BAE are congruent and we notice that we have corresponding pairs here and here so since their angles are since the angles are equal obviously the sines will be equal so we can sort of divide I sort of wrote, wrote it like this so we divide this these uh, equations and we divide these equations so here we get um, BD over EC and again so these signs cancel out and then we're left with C over B times sine of B D A um, that's not right sine C E A over sine BDA and notice that these two angles um, don't cancel out and then when but when we divide these two ratios again BAE and CAD are congruent so their signs are equal and then we get BE over DC D C that looks like an L oh well and then again C over B times and then C D A no, notice that um, sine sine X sine X is equal to sine 180 minus X so CDA and BDA have equal signs so here rewrite sine CDA I'm getting that from this ratio this ooh, this and this will cancel since they're supplementary their signs are equal and then as we write uh, sine BEA BEA is supplementary to CEA and so that will also cancel out when we multiply these two equations together right so which we do now we multiply these two equations together to get that BD over E uh, well I move I move the denominators so that we have sort of corresponding ratios so BD over DC times BE over EC equal to C squared over B squared so like I said if one of these were uh, a median then obviously BD over DC like say AD was a median then BD over DC is just one and so you get this would be the ratio for the median 
and that's how you get that the semedian point, which is the intersection of all the semedians, is a squared, b squared, c squared in uh, barycentric coordinates because of this constant, sort of the, the constant ratio idea of barycentric coordinates. So that's it for this video, just the uh, isogonal ratio theorem and how we get the coordinates for this medium point. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.